So do you suffer from peer pressure sitting around a campfire? Need to have a subject to talk about? Well, stick with me. Today, we're going to talk about the 20 interesting things to talk about at a campfire. Hi, everyone. This is Rob, and this is your lucky day. We're going to go through 20 outdoor facts to impress your friends. Yes, you can thank me for this when we're done. This is written and published by Robbins um, and it was done on March 23rd, 2013. It was a cute little write-up. We thought we'd uh, go through the list with you. We figured this would be a great tool to give you some conversational tools to, to make you feel like you're fitting in around all your outdoor friends. So here we go. Number one. Did you know about 3 million people camp at parks run by National Park Services every year, according to the Outdoor Industry Association? Number two, did you know deer can jump as high as 10 feet in the air at a full sprint? That's right. Another thing that people around the campfire may not know, did you know that wildfires are probably more common than you think? Over 100,000, 100,000, that's 100,000 <laughs> wildfires occur every year in the United States alone. Or maybe you just need a little bit more of a cuter thing. Did you know that raccoons can purr? <laughs> just like our cats. They usually purr when they feel content and safe. Or maybe you need something a little bit more grotier. Number five. Did you know that ticks must be <laughs> connected to their host for at least a day and a half or 36 hours to pass Lyme disease? But what's kind of scary about that is number six. <laughs> In 2009 alone, there were more than 30,000 reported cases of Lyme disease. So that's like 30,000 people a year didn't know they had a tick on them for 36 hours. Ah, that's a little scary. Number seven, if you're planning to go up to Niagara Falls, here's some information that might help you with that. Niagara Falls actually consists of three sets of waterfalls. On the Canada side, Canada's Horseshoe Falls are the largest, with a 2,600 foot brink, while the connected American and Bridal Veils Falls have a 1,000 60 foot brink. In total, over 750,000 gallons of water run over the falls every second. Well, by now you should be feeling quite knowledgeable, but we have more. Number eight, did you know a mouse can squeeze through an incredibly small space thanks to its soft skull? Zip up your tents <laughs> at night. If there's any holes larger than a ballpoint pin, a mouse can get in. Now, believe it or not, I never knew this, and I've been an avid fisherman for a long time. Number nine. It is a myth that a fish can humanely be killed with ice water. Of course, I, I've never tried that. <laughs> they say, according to Australia's RSPCA, the most humane way to kill a fish is to strike them in the head with a blunt instrument or to spike the fish. Now here's a good one. This is number 10. And this is great for around a campfire. So everybody will actually stop talking when you're done doing this one. But really, you can tell the temperature by listening to a cricket chirping. <laughs> really? So get a load of this. Ready? Count the number of chirps in 14 seconds then add 40 to the temperature and that will be the temperature in Fahrenheit so if that doesn't fascinate everybody around the campfire how about this one number 11 the record high temperature in the United States was recorded in Death Valley what do you think it was it was 134 degrees Fahrenheit that's pretty toasty of course we have the opposite of that Number 12, the record low temperature in the United States was recorded in Prospect Creek, Alaska at 
minus 79.8 degrees Fahrenheit. So now that you know how cold it can get going north, did you know that black bears can run at the speed of 35 miles per hour? They also have an incredible sense of smell. So take appropriate precautions when camping in bear territory. All right, let's move on to wolves. Number 14. The largest wolf species in North America can grow about six and a half feet from tail to muzzle. Staying on the subject of animals, let's talk about mosquitoes. Number 15. Mosquitoes can smell the carbon dioxide in a human's breath from over 100 feet away. <laughs> Face it, we're toast. So here's an ideal quote here for campfires. Number 16. So you can really look like you know what you're doing. Hardwoods don't spark. A seasoned hardwoods are ideal for campfires. Many campsites don't allow you to use wood from the ground. So kindling treated hardwoods are essential supply. So staying on the campfire subject number 17. After a few hours, your campfire can reach temperatures of 900 degrees Fahrenheit or even more. Always keep a bucket of water near the campfire in case the flames get out of control. So as it's getting towards the end of your evening at the great campfire, let's have another reminder. Number 18, gas stoves, charcoal grills, and other fuel burning devices can cause dangerous buildup of carbon monoxide. Never store any devices in your tent, even when you're not using them. So if you're uh, around your campfire now and uh, maybe it's starting to rain and maybe uh, a storm's on the way, number 19, this will make everybody feel a lot better. <laughs> Lightning strikes are fairly common. They actually occur about 100,000 times a day worldwide. A bolt of lightning can raise the temperature of the surrounding air by 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Last but not least, number 20. If this doesn't make you the most fascinating person around the campfire, I would be amazed. But number 20, here we go. Wildfires can move quickly. Some reach speeds of 14 miles per hour. So never go anywhere where there is a wildfire and check the advisories before heading out to the campsite. So there you go. You are now the most interesting person at the campsite. <laughs> and you can thank our show here at Outdoor Travel Radio. So, hey, there's your facts for today. Thanks for listening. Have a great day, everyone.